uh, uh, threat, uh, the relegation uh, team, even though they are in our relegation, but they, they play very well in the pitch. I see clearly that they, they were able to dominate in some moments of the game. Technically, our players did what we expect them to do because today we are saying that uh, we came with the mindset that we are going to go all out, press on the ball and then uh, win the ball and then fast break to use uh, the attacking system that, that we decided to develop. And it got us the first two goals and then uh, we were able to maintain it that way after the time we had the second goal to, to end the game with the three round Okay, coach. Um Congrats for winning this match. Mathematically, it is possible for Kotoko to win the league, but realistically, it is impossible. Where do you want to be placed at the end of the season? Well, you know, Kotoko always demands to be at the top of the, uh, of the league. We are still hoping that uh, we keep our momentum. Now we have won a match. We expect to win the last three matches. Like you said, mathematically, if we add uh, this nine points today, to the points that we have, we are likely, and any of the those who are leading us to drop a point or three points, we are likely to come on top of the league. It will depend upon us to work hard in order to get that particular nine points and praying that the others, others will also drop points because it's part of the game. And the way they have played today, if we are able to at least add something to it in, the, in our subsequent matches, in terms of technical aspects, uh, technically what we need to do and tactically what they have to, the instruction that they have to take from us. Definitely, we are going to get on top. So, as we are as of now, if we please face Kotoko, we'll be happy. If we get into the a better position, like second position, why not? But I still have the belief that if we are able to win the, the, the rest of the three matches, we can get on top. Really. So, coming into this game, did you expect Kotoko to play like how they did? Uh, yes, when you look at all their matches, I have watched their videos several times, and that's the way they have been playing. They are very good on the board. It's just that you have to deploy as, as an, a, a team, you have to deploy a tactics whereby you go in for pressing and then you know, try to win the ball. And when you win the ball, and take them on like what we did in the first half. The present publisher. Who say? The last one. 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 And uh, it's part of the game. Football is full of um, mistakes here and there. And once you are making mistakes, the opponent is capitalizing on the mistakes. They make good use of those chances in the squad. Um, I would say that we are not team player, though we have lost to a great team. But, uh, it's not easy to hold Kotokov as we, we held them. And then they, they have a few chances in the squad. Well, coach, um, I was standing with some supporters, and they still have the confidence that Kotoku will remain in the league. Does it look possible to you as a technical head? Um, as of this moment, um, mathematically, Kotoku Royals is down. There is no way, even the three matches left, if we are to win all these matches, our points will not be able to lift us to where we are, to where everybody expected the team to be at this moment. Um, it's unfortunate that a newly promoted club has played all his own matches away from the group and that has been a contributing factor. Yeah. yeah and finally, first half you were on top of the game. You were playing very well in all aspects. But the second half, um, I don't know if the players were... Is it over? I, how do I even put it that? They were a bit down and Kotoko took over and they scored two goals in the second half. What was what were the errors, yeah. especially in the midfield? Kotoko is equally a good side. They had few um, quality players, so in the second half, we realized that they did few tactical changes, bringing in Blay, um, so Agadas together with uh, Sharif Mohamed, who came into played in the midfield, and that is why Kotoko dominated the midfield in the second half, and that was why they outplayed our team.
Okay, and Coach, I, I want to know, um, you've had an excellent second round, particularly at home. Like since you moved here, I think it was your first last year. Do you have the convention that if you had played a season, if you had started a season playing at home and here, you could have served your season? Uh, yeah, sure. I think that if we had come here earlier, especially in the first one, if we had started all our good matches here, I believe so strongly that uh, we could have survived. Okay, Coach, uh, one question. You've been very instrumental ever since you joined the team. The team has been relegated. Are you going to join them all? Um, currently, the season is not over yet. We are still on course. We still have about three matches to, to end the season. So it's until we finish the season that I am able to decide as to whether we will still continue or maybe part ways. For now, 